these are the best mods to use with Distant Horizons. But with the last mod, you will wonder why no one ever told you about it. So stick till the end if you want to make your life easier using Distant Horizons. Have you ever got this problem where you need to travel 1000 blocks in creative to generate LODs? Worry not because with the help of Axiom mod, you can fly 2 times, 3 times or 20 times faster. Axiom mod is like world edit but better, way better. A building mod where you can create huge builds with ease. Best for Distant Horizons. Next we have the Irish Shaders. It deserves to be called the best combo for Distant Horizons because how beautiful your world looks after adding this mod. Third, we have Chunky. It generates chunks and turns them into LODs. But loading more chunks will drop your FPS. That's bad. Therefore, our next mod, Nvidium. Nvidium is a performance mod that does its magic and gets you more FPS. But there's a catch, it only works with NVIDIA GPUs and it doesn't support shaders. Boohoo. Next mod that can support shaders with distant horizons is Bobby. This mod increases your world in a render distance to any number you want. Crazy right? Well, not so crazy because it doesn't work with distant horizons that well. But it's an alternative if you're in a server and want a big render distance with shaders. The sixth mod is for people who want to create cinematics. Yes, it's a replay mod and it's compatible with Distant Horizons 2. But you cannot create a cinematic of an ugly world. Therefore, you need world gen mods. My favorites are Reteraforge, Tectonic, Derelith. You can add Biomes of Plenty and all the other mods that changes your world and how it looks. Now with this huge world, traveling far distances is a big problem and a costly one. That's why we have Waystone mod. You can just teleport to some other place in your survivor world. It will cost you some levels though. But traveling with Elytra is fun when you have this pretty world. Therefore, our next mod makes flying cool and sometimes nauseous. It's called Do a Better Roll. You can fly around like a jet plane pulling all the stunts, impressing all the ladies. No need to thank me. The 10th mod is Lee Wins Third Person but not the last mod in this list. With this mod, you can customize your third person. But when you fly around, just offset your character from the center. Trust me, it feels so much better. But we are not done yet. There's one more mod that I want to show you. Remember our first mod, Axiom, which makes flying faster? It turns out you don't even have to fly faster because of our last mod. Drum rolls. Xero's mini map and world map. This mod solves two problems. First, you get a map to see LODs so it becomes much easier to navigate and generate LODs in your world. Second, you can teleport. So it completely eliminates traveling thousands of blocks to generate LODs. Just right click on the place where you want to teleport and click on the teleport here button. Shocking right? Bonus! It's not a mod but likely useful. MCA selector. It generates this cool looking map of your world. That is beautiful, but you can also remove slash delete chunks from your world with the help of this software. Pretty cool. That's enough for today. Check out this video if you want to know the correct way to generate LODs and some other tips.